Internet friends, and welcome to episode number 199 of Final Boss TV. My name is Adam KK Bay. Hope you're having a great weekend. Today is the Beast Mastery Hunter show, where I'm sure we will only be talking about Animal Companion and Hati the entire episode. Not really. No, we're not doing that. That would be ridiculous. What are you, what, what are you talking about? Granted, we will be talking about Hunter Pets, though. And a little bit of survival. No, we're not. Also, not we're not doing that either. A little bit of marksmanship hunter. We're gonna catch up on some marksmanship hunter stuff. That and plenty more. But of course, forced for foist off. I need to give a big shout out to the special nerds and ladies that help make this show possible. They have a new graphic for you. Kachunk. Thank you very much to the the producers of Final Boss TV over on the show's Patreon page. There is more of the show if you're interested in more of the podcast and sort of an unscripted sort of behind the scenes wrap down or sort of how all this stuff gets put together or the wallpapers and art that gets curated by myself and the artist that I work with. And that, of course, is over on the show's Patreon page. You can go check that out. Link is down below either here on Twitch or on YouTube. And there's an RSS feed actually for the BTS podcast. So you can plug that in to your podcast device so you can get the extra podcast there along with the live show which also goes up on iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play Music and of course my website and of course big shout out to Corsair for sponsoring Final Boss TV they just rolled out their new Void Elite gaming headset and the Virtuoso which is sort of the audio file headset which I do have one, but I cannot use it yet because it's too powerful for my current setup. I need to wait until I have the new setup going. But thank you very much to them for helping do what I do here and for you guys supporting the show, the stream, and everything in between. But today's show, again, like I said, is Beast Mastery Hunter, fresh off the World Quest grind. <laughs> Moofsy's back. Hello, sir. Welcome back to the show. Hey, what's up? You don't have uh, Wow Face right now, which is good. Yeah, no, I'm uh, done with my world questing. What's what, what's your neck at? Uh, let's not talk about that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? <laughs> Why not? Uh, listen, I I hit 67 on my hunter, and uh -huh. I raid log on my hunter now. Oh no! And I only do mythic plus and uh, raid on my hunter, so it's probably I think it's like 68 now. I think I've slowly accumulated between raid mm. and. Uh, Mythic Plus, a, a level. Mm. Uh, let's just say my my alt Demon Hunter is 69. Mm. I play more than my Hunter, so uh, yeah. Imagine not being 70. I know, I not know, even right? 70 yet. I know. See, Slacking. now, the incredible handsome man that is also guesting on the show today, Roger. Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? Now, you all your characters are 70 neck, right? Uh, well, my Hunter is. Uh -huh. The others, not, not yet. They're uh -huh. 68 or so. But I'm glad at least if you're not playing your hunter, at least you're playing a demon hunter. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. hunter. That's, yeah. that's good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that is true. You are playing a lot of vengeance right now, Moose. Yeah, I I am playing a lot of vengeance. Yeah, I mean honestly, it's just because I do a lot of like sales and mythic plus and stuff, and uh, yeah. feels bad. No one wants to invite hunters to keys, and so being a tank and having the DPS option mm -hmm. is uh, a lot easier to get into keys that way it's actually funny that we put the the beast mastery hunter show sort of ends this block of four of the pure dps specs again to start off everything but next week is vengeance demon hunter and i was are you inviting me back uh <clears throat> moose dh <clears throat> I, I don't know i don't i don't it's like a cool down on guests all right i have monkey in the wings and he has some suggestions for me for the good vengeance. old monkey yeah, yeah. For the Vengeance show. But I asked him the other day, and he was like, oh, there's like two people we can ask. I was like, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Lots of guest potential from Vengeance. But apparently right now, it's. I mean, you've been... How high of keys do you do on Vengeance right now? Total uh, I do like... I, I tank like 20s, so oh. it's not bad. Honestly, Vengeance isn't that bad. Uh, you could probably do up to... Like, I know um, Evade, who's... Uh, he, he mains Havoc, but he tanks like... 
20, 22s, 23s. Um, so it's not it's not awful. It's just like if you want to do like 23s, 24s, you're going to play Monk or Warrior pretty much. Right. Um, so like you won't hit like the top, top end content, but like you could do like, I don't know, if, if you play it right. Like the issue is most people don't play Vengeance correctly, so they flop and die. Wait, top, top end. Doing 20s. Like I do like a 14 or a 15 and I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. That's enough. This guy's doing 20s casually. Like, eh, but no, not top end. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. And Roger, you've been working on, uh, in the little preamble before I turn on streams today, you are working on your alts for the Nihiloth raid. And you are right. diving into all of the tier four essences as your personal goal to get all of them. How, yes. How's that going so far? So the alts, first of all, it was really hard to get them prepared because I hadn't really played them since Uldir. And uh, I got full Benthic, you know, the socketed versions, of course, 425s on them, got all the essences they need, did the raids, a, a few of them already. So they are at a really good stage, most of them, except the mage. The mage is a bit left behind. Sorry, mages. Uh, well, we'll see what we'll do with her. And uh, yeah, then I I started focusing on the rank four essences. I want to get them all, you know, got to catch them all. So <laughs> right now, I'm, uh, I only have a couple left. And uh, so the, the hard work has been done. It's just I need to get a little bit of honor for the uh, blood of the enemy rank four, do a couple of 15s, which I still miss. Um, and do the quest line when you reach level 70 on the neck. I still haven't done that. And then I, I'll have it. And then I can actually chill out. And I don't know what I'll do afterwards. I need to find a new a new thing to pursue in the world of Warcraft. You're, you're going to play Classic, yeah. right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for Blackwing Lair to come out on mm. Classic. Because I, th mm. I think that's when the good content starts coming out. I don't know. Right now, it's still a little bit. It's okay, but I played it a bit. We're not going to see Roger Priest in uh, Dire Maw? <laughs> and I might do a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I've I've been thinking about it. It's just like because I'm on the US service as well, and not many people are playing it from uh, the guild yeah. anymore, at least. So it's like, yeah, you know, have to play with complete strangers, basically. Are you know. in uh, a bunch of idiots, or are you still in the Method Guild? I am, although I haven't logged in in a while, so I might have been kicked from the guild. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I'll have to check. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I got kicked from my guild for an activity. Oh, no. Yeah. My friend yeah, came into actually... my stream and was like, hey, we're kicking you from the guild. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the, the classic uh, community is a bit more harsh when it comes to things like this, yeah? Mm, like they yeah. want you to be there, you know, that you have to do things properly, otherwise you're out, you know. They're, yeah. they're yeah. really serious about this stuff. I'm only twenty two I mean, or twenty three on my shaman in classic still. I haven't been able to play, but play Twitch Destiny. <sighs> <laughs> That's what, what happened doing. to every Thursday is a classic day. Well, last Thursday was Shadow Keep launch day. So uh, I was busy there. Mm. Yep, yep. I was, uh, excuses. I see how it is. Excuses. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but all right, top of the show stuff. Uh, Roger saw this in the show notes and said he has no idea. Uh, or no, actually, this one. No, sorry. The top, top of the show question. I moved the topic and then we have this one. This is the most important question of the whole show. Nothing else we'll talk about is going to be as important as this question right here. And choose your answers wisely. There are many hunters watching and or listening. Azertharian may be in the wings right now. So this is important, all right? And this goes for okay. you too in chat. We can see you in chat right. right here. Are you riding the B-mount with the B-pet combo yet? Moosey. Uh, considering Roger and I are both Horde, and you cannot yeah. get the B-mount on Horde. So, <laughs> so no, I don't have the B-mount. Wait, there's a bee pet? Yeah, you can tame a okay. bee pet. Is that a new but... thing or? I don't uh, think I've seen one. No, I think it's been around. They're, uh, they're, where are they? I think they're in like Storm Song or something like that. That's, mm -hmm. there's bees somewhere. Oh, I don't remember where they're. But it's in one of those a, zones. There's a glyph for dire bees. You get the major oh, yeah. bee pet. 
You make your yeah, other pet a bee. Yeah, well, the BB gun. Okay, now you're just yeah. going. But this, so you, right. don't, you don't have an alliance character. You've gotten the B mount on, so you can have the B mount on your horde character yet. Come I on. do have an alliance character. I haven't done the B thing stuff yet. So it's one of those things. Uh, as I told you, once I'm done with the rank fours and stuff, maybe I'll start doing the B mount. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long does it take to get. Uh, uh, it's a grind. You have to like grind a lot of rep. Or something like, like that. I'm talking about like ten hours, five hours. Uh, my, I think my guildies did it in like a week. A week? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know exactly what you have to do for it. I'm sure chat will catch us up. I know there was someone that had it within 24 hours, and the Dark Moon Fair is happening right now for the rep buff. I've been told it's a daily oriented thing, and it takes a reset to get it. Oh. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I don't Maybe know next worth. Dark Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least it's a human, so I, I p oh. basically have that passive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, it's unless you, unless you like buy honey all the time or something like that, which you can sell, and then it gives you rep. I don't know. I I don't. I rarely do the cosmetic mount grind stuff, but I'm I'm not really a pet collector. I must admit, though. So yeah, okay. I, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. Because it does sound cool, but uh, if it's a uh, long as grind, I mean that's for the mount, of course. But or is it for the pet as well? I don't know. I'm I'm a bit confused. Do you get both? You get the mount for completing whatever, and then you have to okay. tame. I think you have. To... You just uh, tame the bees. Yeah, you okay. tame bee, and then. But can you have also a companion pet bee? So you go I don't for think the there's a... Is there like a battle pet bee? I'm not sure if there is. Oh, I'm sure there is. There has to be. Yes. Chat immediately yeah. said yes. And then where's the glyph right. from? Where's the glyph of dire bees or whatever? Where's that from? Uh, I think is, you just buy it. You just buy it. Inscriptions just from, have it. Uh, from Scribes. somewhere. Or yeah. maybe you have to make it. Yeah, maybe it's inscriptions. I don't know. Listen, Thanks. this is this is too RP for me. Hey! I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of this stuff. You're going to be themed. You're going to believe <laughs> in the theme. So, all right, then here's the move topic. Move C, catch me up real quick. As you know, we've I'm doing every single spec individually, even though some of you may have caught wind or put it together that it may be impossible for me to actually get every single spec done before the next expansion due to the holidays, due to events, due to going to casting events, due to the Race to World First stuff, going to BlizzCon, etc. So we'll, we'll see. Also, 9.0 beta might start as early as like next March or April because that puts it six months away from an August release next year for the next expansion, and that'll take priority, but we'll try what we can do. However, we did Marksman Hunter earlier this year, and I wanted to ask if there's any catch-up or tidbits or bullet points that you have worked on in the Hunter community. I mean, as with Therian's in chat, maybe he can, like, put the cliff notes. Uh, anything to catch honestly, up on with, with, with Marksman? Honestly, like... I'm looking, like, talent-wise, not much has really changed. I think lethal shots is semi-viable now. I think most people still use double tap. Uh, but, like, talent-wise, nothing's... It's, I mean, you pretty much have, like, one set in stone set up talent-wise for Marksman. Hmm. Um, essences, um, it's also pretty straightforward. Um, for raid, you run CLF major... Um, minor, either run Conflict and Strife, uh, Vision of Perfection, um, Purification Protocol, and I'm not sure. I think some people use Essence at the Focusing Hours, depending on how much haste they have um, as a minor. Um, and then for like Mythic Plus and some AoE fights, you can run like Focusing Hours Major, um, which is, I feel like, pretty standard for a lot of DPS specs. Um, and then rotation wise, like nothing's really changed. I think the only real change, I guess, for Marksman has been like adapting to the trinkets, right? Because we have the coral. Um, and so Marksman sort of um, pairs really well with coral because of their execute with careful aim and stuff. Um, then you have the Orgoza trinket. Like, obviously, you want to like overlap the Orgoza trinket and um, the, uh, the crit from coral sometimes, depending on the fight. And, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, not not much has really changed that much with Marksman. Do they still um, have they still have a crazy long? I'm looking at the opening sequence for Marksman. It's still like pre ten seconds before the fight starts, kind of thing. Yeah, well, that's it's double tap. Yeah, so if you're running yeah. double tap, you have to like ten seconds before ten to fifteen seconds before the fight starts. 
And then now you also have Hunter's Mark, CLF, that you pop pre, um, and then you true shot, and then you go into, you know, all your your typical true shot rotation. Um, but yeah, I mean, how much has changed? Pretty okay. pretty similar. We just didn't have essences or anything like that, of course. You can check out the, the Wowhead guide for all the little bits there. Wow, CLF is way up there for Marksman. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's very, very good for a uh, single target. It's hey. it's even better. It's so good for marksmen. It like even in Mythic Plus, like BM, you generally never run CLF. Right. But even even in AOE, like dungeons and stuff, most like tyrannical, especially sometimes on fortified, you still run CLF just because it I mean, does so much damage for marksmen. Right. Have you? Didn't you dabble in Marksman during the last raid race for Eternal Palace at all, though, Roger? Or you just BM the entire time? No, I just went straight for BM. Uh, the thing is, you you need to work with what gear you get as well. And I happened to get all the BM Azerite pieces. So I could have played MM, but I had <clears throat> pretty much the best pieces for BM. And I just that you know why not you know it's it was working i was doing good dps so i didn't really see the point i checked some streams from other guilds where some people were playing bm some were playing mm i didn't really see mm really doing much better so i was like yeah okay no point really switching it up uh yeah i don't know i i personally don't see too much of a point switching between the two mm -hmm. I don't think MM really has a huge edge on any boss. I think maybe on some logs they have a little bit more on Asvain, I think, but that boss is a little bit Yeah. I don't know. It depends on your strat, it depends on a lot of things. Yeah. Well the um, the big thing is for Marksman is that it's it's about the same on Zakul, but it's really bad for Ajara. And a lot of people mm -hmm. top end rating look at, you know, what's the best spec for the last boss, because generally it's you know the hardest and what you want to gear for and marksman is just super annoying to deal with like all the losing and movement and stuff like that like it's it's viable like there have been a couple people that have killed it as marksman yep. but it's like bm is just so much easier to play and right. stuff like that on ajara and so a lot of people don't go marksman just because of that there's um, a new have you guys seen the new essence that's happening in 8.3 that's essentially the same like pre-execute and post-execute it's careful aim yeah. yeah yeah it's basically careful aim yeah mm -hmm. uh, that would be that. pretty good yeah i think like because that one's like a fire damage right or you correct do more fire damage or something like that yep it's fire damage uh, there are some weird intricacies with it right now that are it's 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 not always working potentially and there's a weird potential skill cap with it but like sniping ad kills to double the damage of the next yeah. cast kind of a deal which is a kind of a fun mini game, maybe. Otherwise, it's just that you just cast it on cooldown and mm -hmm. above eighty yeah. percent has a lower cooldown. Bring back and, kill shot. Yeah, and then below twenty percent has a low. But yeah, you can. It's an interesting one. The uh, I don't want to derail too much here, but have you? This might be a question for Roger, and I know Moofsy might be talking to other theory crafty people about this too. But the the void essence that healers and tanks can use to pull DPS essences. Have you guys given thought yeah. to that? I thought you meant to copy someone else's The copy essence. one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, anyone can use that, right? Yeah, right. I think it's anyone. But I mean, a DPS can... wouldn't really want to use it because, I mean, the whole point is, right, like if you're a DPS, you can seal a healer or a tank, right? Because if you're a DPS mm -hmm. sealing other DPSs, I mean, you can just equip that same essence, right? So Yeah, really see, you say that, but it's actually potentially the best use out of this that I see. Because or let's say you're in, and stuff? let's say you're you're doing a fight like Azara, right? And mm. you need let's say okay, like not exactly Azara, but I don't know. Like we'll get the example of Azara. In the last phase, you need like super hard single target DPS, so you want to get condensed life force as an example. But in the previous phases, you'd rather have something like I don't know the beam to do extra damage to the ads or whatever, like it just suits your playstyle. So maybe you want to pick that, have one guy with the beam originally, so everyone copies off of him, one guy with condensed, so everyone later on co copies from him, 
And then Can you switch the copy. It's a one use, right? Like you copy it, you use it, and then it's it's over. You know, then you need to copy it again. Right? right so it's, you that mid -fight. it's like the DK, the simulacrum so. kind of thing. It just the, gives and you the only the only disadvantage cooldown. is that you you get a longer cooldown. Yeah. So if you use CLF after you have stolen it, you need to wait four minutes before you take something else instead of three minutes. Because it increases the cooldown that your ability gives you or something. You, you get what I mean, uh, right? I didn't know it resets mid-combat. Oh, that could be good then, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you yank it off, you use it, it adds 50% more cooldown than what it used to use it to, to yank another one off again. Yeah, so, that'll be fight dependent though. Oh, obviously. for sure. But it brings yeah, up all these it's... weird it brings up people when I talk on a stream like symbiosis again for druids mm. and all the different combinations you had therein. Man, yeah. that was so yeah. fun back in what was that? Wad? No, MOP had... thing, or oh, it was oh, yeah, MOP, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played Feral Druid back then and I stole the Warlock. What was it? Soul Swap? Is that uh, what it was? You swap all your dots to other characters or enemies and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely an interesting one, but I think a little bit, you know, it will be underused. I, I don't think a lot mm. of people will go for it. Mm. Maybe yeah. healers, as you said, potentially, right? Like if there's a burn phase, but the previous phases, you just need to stay alive, then you use that maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Definitely those... not something you will use unless you're stuck on a boss, probably. Like you're yeah. not going to do this juggling if it's not needed. Yeah, so, it's definitely a yeah. min maxi type thing if you're going to go for it like that. Yeah. Mm. Then there's the essence of inspiration thing about like buffing the other four people in your parties. Yeah. On use. But... Man, people are going to complain about that so much. It's like... I saw that and I was <laughs> like, guys, let's try this essence out. And I, I'm like, okay, everyone get crucible. Uh -huh. I'm going to buff everyone up and we're going to destroy this boss like we're going to do like two missiles each the boss will drop 5% health insta let's try it out then i put the buff and i'm like okay go guys and and everyone goes like i don't have the buff and then i realize it's actually the party only the party. that gets it like mm -hmm. oh what? is this let's tpc the, or something the math like, on that one is so you have to put party party ahead of time uh -huh. like... Yeah. Like, man, what was that? What was the disc priests always used to want that because of like prayer of healing or holy priests or whatever and only healed their party? <laughs> yeah, and like shamans, I think back then they gave the totems to the party and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, I'm telling you, that, that essence is dead. No one's going <laughs> It's a fine I mean, no one, essence, I think. Yeah. No one wants to use it anyways because like no one yeah. wants to be the person to give away DPS to other people. And it's yeah. like you always <laughs> want to be the person getting all of the buffs. And stuff Not like just that. that, yeah. You also need to be next to the guy, like 15 yards. Like, it's okay. kind of close, yeah. Come oh. On. Like, did you have to put Moose both of those things? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I'm a, I'm a beam know. hunter. I'm, I'm always max range away from healers, so... Yeah. I don't know if I can yeah. come in for that. All right, let's pull it back to Hunters then real quick. <laughs> I didn't have this topic for the Marksman Hunter show. It sort of developed after I did those first four. But I wanted to know, because we this mostly spawned after Ian had that keynote about how they realized they've over-pruned, right? Mm -hmm. they've, they've, they've taken too much away from classes in World of Warcraft. So we're, we're expecting this like great unpruning in 9.0 or something. We'll, we'll see. Hmm. I have no idea. So... Over the course of, like, say, Mr. Pandaria, when the talent system changes, and then we have to Warlords, to Legion, to Battle for Azeroth, and then to 9.0, whatever the heck that's going to be, is there an incarnation of the Beast Mastery Hunter that, or Hunters in general, that you miss the most from the past? Are these specific parts of that BM kit that you want back? that should be coming back, uh, would like to have back in 9.0? For me, yeah, I nice. loved, so BM specifically, I mean, I can talk about yeah. all the specs, but BM specifically, BRF Hunter, BRF BM with Focus Fire. That was, that was an excellent iteration. Um, I would love Kill Shot back, like a proper execute. There it is. Because, yeah. I mean, we have, we have K KI right now, which is like, a pseudo execute. It's like okay, but kill shot would be so much better. Um survive mop survival. Yeah, mop survival and high mall survival, I think. A after they buffed it was really good. 
I think the old explosive shot should come back. I don't like this current explosive shot. Do you don't like the <laughs> you don't like the talent where you stand in melee and double tap an ability and the rocket explodes in your face and you disengage no. back? You don't like that? You no. sure? Huh. Really no. good ability actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I only used it on one boss. Oh, on, you actually uh, used it. I'm surprised. Yeah, I actually used it. It was in Nighthold on uh, what was his name? Spellbinder, the... right? Uh, no, did I use it there as well? I no, no, no. Uh, what was it? The one, the Dreadlord. Oh, Bellor? what was it called? Not Bellord. Oh, it was Balnazar. No, Dreadlord. Was. Yeah, Balnazar or whatever. Yeah, that one of those guys. One of the Nathrezim. I don't remember. The guy the that damn... spawned the blob, the blobs of blood, or whatever. Wait, what? Blobs of blood. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Tychon. Yeah, yeah. Tychondrius. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. 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 There is the only time I used it because I was standing ranged and there was a bunch of ads and we needed burst damage for them. And so like, you're padding is what you're saying. Oh god! Exactly. All right. All right. Exactly. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so they, this talent, when it allows you to pad, that's when you pick it. Oh. Uh, hmm. But if in all honesty, for BM Hunter, the one thing I hope for 9.0, I mean, pruning one ability to get back. I don't know, Eyes of the Beast. Do we even have that? I don't. I honestly don't. Don't care uh, that's your that's it. your classic coming out. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> care that much. RP is the pet and run around. I just hope <laughs> that they give us a different like you 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 talked about focused fire and all that. Yeah, like that was one era. I think focused fire was there for MOP and WAD, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Then Legion and BFA, we had the whole. Dire frenzy, three stacks, uh, reset, and don't oh, yeah. let the stacks drop mechanic. I mean, okay, a lot of the time we just used Dire Beast back in Legion and we didn't care about it because, yeah, but yeah. that was the core like mechanic of the class. So I'm hoping that they go and try something new because honestly, if they just do the same thing with minor changes, it's just going to be like, come on, yeah. the third expansion I mean... that would do the yeah. same thing. So I'm hoping they, they spice it up a bit. They give us something new. I don't know. Yeah, bring us... I don't know. Kill shot pack would be cool, for sure. But I would just love a new... Like, you remember things like uh, the Lynx Rush with the pet, I think it was called? Yeah. Back in MOP. Like some, that was some, a while something, ago, yeah. Yeah. Something... I don't know. Something to spice it up a bit, because mm. it honestly Aspect is getting really Fox? boring. Yeah. Aspect of the fox, I mean, that's a little, <laughs> a little OP. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'll ever bring that back. Well, that's that's the follow-up <laughs> question. I was like, so is there something mm. in the kit right now that yeah. DM can have go the way of the fox? Like something can be removed that you just don't, it's like, just uh, this in the honestly, bin. Honestly, the three stack, the frenzy mechanic is like, it, it's not hard to maintain but i mean like roger said last in legion um basically we just got so much crit and secondary scaled so well that we made a stomp build which is just like a we called it crit build and we basically just didn't really care that much about three stacks anymore right uh, or actually i think dire beast just removed that completely i think that was the mastery build um and even now um dance of death has scaled so well that maintaining three stacks isn't really like you you prioritize maintaining dance of death procs instead of three stacks whereas mm -hmm. they want you to keep three stacks but the build that we have now is so crit reliant that dance of death like if you don't have dance of death you just hit your barb shot like it, it doesn't even um i mean there's there's a little more to it than that but like it's totally okay to just drop your stacks over trying to yep. proc dance of death and basically, during Bloodlust, you just you just spam that button, yeah? Like, you don't care. Pretty much, I don't know. Yeah. It, It's just... I think it's time to move on. It's not as... Um, I don't want to critique it, because it is. it feels okay playing it. Maybe a little too easy. But it, it makes sense, kind of. Like, it's a complete spec. Um, doesn't feel like something is broken. But I don't know. It's just time for change, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Oh, sorry. There, there's a couple of talents which have pretty much never been used as well. Like I'm, I'm even looking at them, I didn't even remember they existed. Like Venomous <laughs> Bite. Yeah. Like what is that, that? You know. That's what for BM and Marksman and even Survival, honestly. Like 
the talent tree is just bad. Like there's a set in stone talent build that you go for all of the specs, and you pretty much never like for AOE for single target for burst AOE for spread AOE for you know spread cleave you know whatever you just stay the exact same build and it's really uh, like like you said like I honestly forgot venomous bite was a thing until I was looking at the talents hmm. and like uh like spitting cobra spitting I don't think cobra, I've ever yeah. specced into and uh like dire beast and like up to up until like a month ago animal companion was literally a dps loss over taking no talents at all so it's like <laughs> like literally like a lot of these talents are just so bad that you just like stampede we actually did use back in um old deer for one fight or it was viable um wait which that fight? was uh what was it called zekvaz oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. zekvaz yeah. you yeah, just because there were so many ads and it lined up perfectly mm-hmm. with Stampede, right? But other than yeah. that, like you literally never use Stampede. Barrage, they nerfed the crap out of it. I'm I'm not super sad about Barrage because it gave Hunters a bad name, but <laughs> but you never use well, Barrage when it anymore. Like... Things fifty yards <laughs> straight up or through walls. I, I mean, it's a Barrage. I mean, what can you do? Oh uh, well. well um... just... <laughs> <laughs> so then. <laughs> You brought up pets and you brought up Animal Companion, which is a perfect segue into talking about how you guys now have Hati back and you can do the quest mm. to go back and get your your pupper from Legion. But that always brought up this pet AI pathing and and other such bits and pieces about how the the hunter class is so pet based. So Animal Companion is the Master of Beast back having two pets out again, like in Legion? Have it has it come full circle? Is that totally fine now, or is that still like a trap for Beast Master? Um, so, so they buffed Animal Companion two a week or two weeks ago, I think, Th- maybe three weeks ago. I was about to like five percent. Was it, it was eight point eight point two point five? Um, I think right. Yeah. Yeah, um, and so it's viable now. It's it's actually our best pure single target build. Hmm. Um, but there's still a lot of issues with the second pet AI. Um, and so a lot of people just refuse to run it just because of the issues. Like, for instance, if your pet dies, your main pet dies mid fight, obviously you have to res your pet. Your animal companion won't spawn for like another 30 seconds. That's obviously like your mid fight, right? Like you're not going to sit there and wait for it to spawn. Um, and so, like, what, what normally happens, like, if you're out of combat, you res your pet, and it'll spawn, like, five or ten seconds later, but if you're mid-combat, and you res your pet, and you attack with your main pet, it takes, like, 30 seconds for it to spawn, or something like that. And so, just, like, little things like that, it's, like, huh. super unattractive sometimes. Um, and so a lot of fights, like, any fight, like, Zul is, like, I mean, it's a, it's an AoE fight, but, right, but it's, you want boss damage. You know, you will never run Animal Companion on Zul, because when you go down bottom, um, your pet takes damage from just, like, you know, people dotting it, or just AoE, or, you know, whatever, and your pet will die, and then that bug happens, right? So you're not gonna be petless for 30 seconds mid-fight. Oh, on, on Zakul. Or Zakul. Yeah, I was Zakul. Like... Zakul. Is it yeah, cool? Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, I misspoke. Okay. Um, and same thing on Najara, right? Because we have an interaction on Najara when you lose percentage of your health. So mm-hmm. if you go down fifty percent health, your pet also goes to fifty percent health. And then when your debuff falls off, so you go back to full percentage health, your pet doesn't go back to full percentage health. It just stays at fifty percent life. And so you have to like heal your pet up. So your your pet also dies on Najara. And so your animal mm. companion pet dies on a char. And so it's like, it's this whole thing about just like bugginess. And, you know, on top of that, the AI is super, like it can get stuck super easy. It's just like, there's so many things wrong with it. And so the only time you actually run it, it's like pure single target where there's like no risk at all involved for your pet. So like yeah. first boss, behemoth, you can run it, um, you run it on Ashvane. Um, you know, basically just like the easy fights. It's like it's not it's it's viable quote, but it's sure. like use with caution type thing. <laughs> it's flavorful. There's all these things that I've, I've hear heard about too. I brought this one up specifically, and this is to be at Roger because I didn't notice this back when we were doing the race to world first for Eternal Palace. But when I finally got to Mythic Orgozoa weeks ago, at this point now, 
We oh, always, yeah. Pulling Orgozoa and putting the ads in the right spot for our two to three Beastmaster Hunters to make sure that their cleave went because their pet had to go to a right spot on the boss's butt and, like, wiggle the boss a little bit so your pet, like, re moves o over to, like, the right <laughs> or the left side. Like, did you do any yeah. goofy garbage to, like, get your pet in position? You were the only hunter in the method kill of this, of course, back then. Um, this actually, stuff happens. if you... Yeah. So if you check our first kill, you will notice that uh, there is a certain color missing from the composition, and that's the hunter <laughs> one. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually got benched for that boss. Yep. Um, yes, it was possible, and it, that's what we're doing right now, to have it away so that basically the pet is right at the boss, is not exactly behind the boss, because it never goes exactly behind being towards the middle of the room when you tank the ads there and then you can cleave them. But uh, even if you do that, it's not like you're going to do some insane DPS, right? So we had other classes go in instead. Um, and it requires a little bit of attention from the tanks to achieve this. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it is possible. You just need to know how the AI works. I didn't even really know back then either, to be fair. Because uh, you've never... You didn't really have this kind of situation in any other boss, as far as I yeah. remember. Yeah, I don't uh, think But now, is. it kind of makes sense, right? Like, once you know, it, it either goes on the back right or back left of the boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it takes, like, what is closest, kind of. But then if you wiggle the boss a bit, they might get confused and go on the other side. So you need to be careful not to move the boss. But you yep. can slide the boss, like, you can turn the boss and it will follow perfectly but yeah if you move the boss then it might just be like oh all right i'll just go to the left now and then you're like oh yeah okay now it's, it's just hitting the wall so yeah it's basically all on your tanks and azar actually like made a video of it because so many people like it's really confusing on how to do it but like mm -hmm. your tank it's the tank that's taking the boss basically can't move and so the ad tank has to come intercept the boss and then the the boss tank moves to get the ads and so it's like you can't like move the boss at all or else your pet just like can flip out and go haywire um oh there you go there's the uh the clip you must just linked it um cold so, inexpensive so you... goat chef frank all right <laughs> best name uh, so so it's doable uh but like roger was saying like even on Prague, like for what they were doing for like world first stuff, there are so many better classes that because BM, yes, you can do a lot of damage, but you lose single target damage on the boss, right? And so like, yes, killing the adds is important, but boss damage is more important. And so uh, Wait fire mages, for example. <laughs> Wait, what just gifted happened? A sub? <laughs> oh, what the uh, hell? He got like 50 gifted subs. What the uh, heck? 100. Go wreck. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Someone really liked that cleaving strat, yeah? Like, oh. <laughs> 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 Someone's excited for it as well. Oh, Wait, so are you, giving, are you giving some of these subs to Azur since he made the clip? Oh, I, I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> it's only because chat's on screen. Goodness gracious, Go wreck. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Easy dodge, dodge, dodged. Yeah, everyone type in chat to see if you dodged the gifted sub bomb. Oh, Naga <laughs> even dodged. Man, oh, the, no. the gifted sub algorithm is so weird. It picks Thank so many. You. It's I don't know, but so this follow-up question I had to that before Gorak derails the show is: Do you have any like pet pathing macros or tricks or things that you do? I guess you kind of brought over some of them. <sighs> But are there things you do with like putting your pet on passive and then like moving it manually and then turning on attack um, and then they've is it, does it they've fixed yeah. a lot of it like you had to do like pet passive shenanigans like on the last boss of siege um, they fixed that so you don't have to do that anymore um, I I think in raid it's I don't think there are really any issues I think there's some issues in Mythic Plus still. Mm -hmm. Um, like I know a big issue, um, is like when you're, so you, I'm sure you've seen MDI, right? Like in a Taldazar, they snap swords to like that location. Yeah. Um, your pet can't real your pet can't go up on the ledge. Right. And your, so your pet yeah. padding is really weird. It like, it like goes in like a complete straight line to your target. And so like, so if they're on the other side of the pillar and you're standing 
directly behind the pillar and you tell your pet to attack the targets on the other side of the pillar, it just gets stuck. <laughs> and so you have to literally get at a 45 degree angle huh. and tell your pet to attack from a 45 degree angle. And then your pet will get in position and will be able to hit it. So, so there's like some padding issues and you use follow all the time, like yeah. pet follow and stuff like that. Um, pet attack. We still have the bug for pet attack. Um, that's supposedly getting fixed, actually, in the so wait, PTR. The macro command for pet attack, or the one way to pull off the pet attack from the actual pet bar? Which, which, what's the no, bug? no? So, so currently, BM hunters like literally all of our abilities: cobra shot, kill command, yeah, barb shot. We have pet attack, like slash pet attack macroed in. Um, or, or I'm sorry, slash pet attack, and then the basic basic attacks. So slash slash bite slash use claw slash you know all that stuff yeah um so there's a bug right now with our pets so you're supposed to use basic attacks every three seconds right um which is when assuming you have enough focus which hunter pets always have enough focus for the basic attack so every mm -hmm. three seconds you're supposed to use a basic attack um but right ever since bfa was released hunter pets delay that basic attack and use it about every 3.5 seconds um unless you macro in like you force your pet to use its basic attack or i mean you could even use you know like auto hotkey like all that stuff mm -hmm. but you basically force your pet to use it right and so we macro it in to force it to use it every it's still not perfect it uses it about every 3.15 seconds but i mean that half a second delay for every pet basic attack adds up to about 500 dps it's like sim dps over the course of a five minute fight yeah which is pretty significant bug right that's like a pretty decent amount of damage um and so we just macroed into every ability we have so that because so bicep previous guest on the show for your crafty boy put in my discord he asked are pet macros still used because of the he said 1.2 second tick timer which i don't know what that means but is that is that like the timer that checks what your pet does or their focus regeneration rate or something along those uh, lines? Is that what you're just talking about right there? Like I'm honestly not sure. That's he's DK, right? Yeah, yeah. Biceps yeah. is DK. Um, I'm honestly not sure. I, I know I talked to Warlocks at the beginning of BFA and they said they didn't have that same issue. Hmm. I'm not sure if DKs have that same issue or not. I honestly couldn't tell you. That's super weird. Like, why did that change? Yeah, I mean, Bootek in chat says right now it's been bugged since the start of BFA. Yeah, but this is like I—I I mean, I never knew that was a thing. So why did why does your pet where that extra point five seconds go? There must be some oh. checklist in the code somewhere. Oh, it it happened in beta. We submitted we've submitted so many bug reports and they have yet yeah. to fix it. So I don't. I don't know. Any you can huh. literally just ask any BM hunter, and they have all their well, like we have a macro in the True Shot Lodge Discord, or not macro, just like a, a pen about it. Just put all of these in all your abilities. Mm. Okay. I've had this since like I don't know a couple of expansions ago. To be yeah. honest, just always a good idea to have it. Why not? You know, oh, you've not had gonna... it. Server tick rate. I've had it. I've had it for a while now. Yeah. Huh. Pet uh, attack you... and all the uh, all the abilities. I don't know. Oh, I think okay. I did it ages ago, and I just yeah. never removed them. I yeah, I mean, you didn't. The same macros. I mean, I've always used pet attack. Um, that, I mean, that's pretty much a given. But the the basic basic attacks you haven't needed until BFA. Mm. It, in Legion, it did automatically. Maybe in Legion, but I'm pretty sure before at some point it was needed again. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. I I don't remember that far back, but. That is super awkward, and that's what that's what it. Uh, so, uh, Trice and chat. It's one of those idiotic things where you gain DPS from having a silly macro on every ability. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck, man. Yeah. yeah. Good. Gosh. Actually, when are they gonna give us more macro slots? Yeah. More I have to go into slots. my general macros, yeah, which I hate because yeah. I have other macros <laughs> there, and then there's some hunter macros yeah. in there, and it's just a mess. Yeah. Like, oh. Focus counter shot, great. Like next to my <laughs> next to my hellstone macro. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's squish the hunter meta discussion together, and I'm sure Discord loves these topics. Basically, it boils down to when and where and why do you pick and play which hunter spec? And Roger actually sort of talked about that at the beginning of the show a little bit. 
So there's a spec hierarchy. Every pure DPS class has this. Rogues, Mage, Hunters, and Warlocks. Kind of why I do these specs at the start of these 12 show brackets. Is that when do you play one? And like rogues have their own thoughts about this. Warlocks actually have been like pretty close together in their competitive nature. So it really comes down to like what Azerite you got first and like how good you are at this and this and X and Y. Uh, I don't know where mages are at right now. They were all really close together. And then Arcane just kind of like fell off the face of the earth. Then they got an aura buff last Tuesday. But then on the previous mage show, they were like, it's not really going to change a whole lot because fire is just absolutely bonkers bananas right now. So with hunters, you have the weird situation where you have survival in the mix. Not that not that it doesn't pomp, but when and where do you pick what to play? And Roger, I'm going to go with you in this first one because you mm -hmm. obviously like only played BM, mostly because just for raiding at the level that you raid when it's like the really important part, it's just the ease of use of BM versus marksman's shenanigans. Right. So first of all, they haven't really nerfed the raids uh, that much to the point where it becomes kind of like a joke so you can play whatever and the boss will just flop so it's still like we still wipes quite a few times on azara every week um therefore you don't really want to play something that is going to be even slightly worse than the other uh spec mm -hmm. you can't really yeah i mean you can play it in the previous bosses but basically, because I've had other things to focus on, I haven't really put a lot of effort into trying out the other specs. I don't really see the point, as I was saying earlier. Um, but generally speaking, like this has been true for the last couple of expansions, I guess. Um, since you have survival, the only problem is you need to make kind of different um, comparisons here. So the hierarchy kind of goes, um, is bm or mm one of the two and they compete against each other because they kind of do similar things in the raid they're both range dps and especially in this expansion they're really similar in terms of okay a bm can move a little bit better the mm has to stand still a bit more but not to the extent um some other casters have to uh their AOE is kind of like tightly packed. They, you don't have multi-dotting. You don't have side wonders anymore. You don't have any of that. So they're really similar. So at that point, you just look at the damage breakdowns, like who can do more damage in this situation or that. And again, they're pretty similar. I would say BM is a little bit higher than MM right now in this regard, and also a little bit better survivability. Uh, now, survival, even though I haven't played it, so I might mm. be wrong here. Mm. The problem is that it's not really competing directly with the other two Hunter specs mm. because you always have to think of the balance of melee and range DPS on a lot of bosses, yeah. especially, let's say, in a, an example like Twins Court. You can't just bring a bunch of melee. You want to have like four or five melee max. Otherwise, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, gets crowded <laughs> around the bossy. Um, and that's have, that has been, I think, the main problem with survival, that it's competing against too many other good specs, uh, like rogues, um, there's uh, demon hunters, which you will have one demon hunter for sure, because yep. Blizzard made sure about that. Uh, Monk, you can bring a tank, but yeah. Uh, then you have, you know, DKs, even, even uh, Red Paladin, right? On Azara, he can bring the Bob, that's really good utility. Mm -hmm. Hunt Survival Hunter, not so much insane utility. Um, so yeah, that's the problem. Because I've seen some logs, they are doing some dam. <laughs> As uh, uh, Narcolis would say, they're doing some dam. Yeah. Uh, they're not bad. But w who would you replace to bring a Survival Hunter in? That's the, that's the main question, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the general consensus, is just... There's just not a race spot for them, and even even Mythic Plus, it's the same thing. Like you'd rather bring a Rogue or a Demon Hunter or something. Like there's, it's even worse in Mythic Plus because there's less spots. Um, uh, survival is really good at PvP though. Uh, survival is the go-to PvP spec for Hunter, True. Um, and that's sort of their niche. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, if you talk to the Hunter community, you have a lot of survival enthusiasts that basically only play survival. And then you have BMN marksman hunters that refuse to play survival. It's like that's 
a lot of them consider survivals like not even a hunter spec. It's just like <laughs> hey, listen, another class. I promise. <laughs> promise. I'll I'll play it after and his off is dead. I'll play yeah. it. Oh. But uh, I don't know. Up until that point. Yeah. So it depends who you talk to, but I mean survival. Yeah, it, it does really good damage, and if you're in the raid and you're good at it, it does really good damage. It's just doesn't have any utility right so it's why would you bring it over a rogue or demon hunter or whatever it's the tough spot for sure i didn't know about the the pvp aspect is that i would assume it's just because it's very sticky and um um, it also has a really good cc so it's a a bit of like you can lock down a target really easily Mm. and it you know it synergizes really well with some classes especially you know with the whole dr situation um You have the, the the snare, the the net, yeah, and then yeah. you can land the trap off of that, and someone you know lands you another CC. And then you have yeah, yeah like you have a ton of CC in survival, and, yeah. and you have the sick burst. That's the thing. You have the burst. Yeah. No. Wow. Mm. So. And they're really they're really good. Their survival is a very annoying spec in PvP because you can multi dot and stuff, and then you're super sticky like demon hunters. Yeah. Um, and you're also really survivable. You can. Sp- spec a little mastery good fun and uh what's it called the spirit sp- la, 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 la. what's it called spirit the, bond uh spirit oh, bond yeah. heals yourself and then you got men ba- men bandage and stuff like that and so yeah the bandits i think i don't know if they're still using it but last time i checked it was really annoying for some uh, classes like i think against the rogue you just pop the bandits and remove all, all the bleeds right and all the yeah. poisons yeah so really good there were pros and cons to it. I, I guess it depends. Sometimes we get a little too caught up in that we think that every single spec should be good enough to bring to any single piece of content, but then there's obviously a hierarchy there across the entire game spectrum, which I, I hope more and more people slowly get to understand. I mean, now that the MDI has been going on for so much longer now, we get to see sort of what gets seen in there. We get to see, at least from the, the coverage now with the Race to World Firsts, We've seen different compositions across the different regions and different top guilds vying for those spots. We've seen different things that, that Method, what you guys have done. We've seen different things that Limit has done. So we know there are compositional things that change there, what you splash in. But the day where we see, like, what well, we did back in the day, Iliayo brought it, Enhancement Shaman, for a, uh, a world first. But we haven't seen that in a long time. Survival Hunter. Wait, <laughs> hey, actually... Was that the last time, actually? I think, Sorry, yeah, but... Margok. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> because it was broken. Because it was actually broken. Uh, hmm. And It was... Enhancement was good in Siege, right? Siege of Mark? Very, very high burst enhancement. We were a three-minute wonder class back in MOP in Siege, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Primal Elementalist, Elemental Mastery, Ascendance, Ignore Armor. Go ham. But... Yeah. How about some fun stuff before we get into like the mid show break here? And what's your favorite moment or moments when you play BM right now? Or what you remember from the past? Again, you kind of brought back that up too. Is there, because you guys have like an yes. execute now via Azerite traits? Is it still popping big red pet? Is it cooldown reduction shenanigans? What gives you that like, that ooh yeah moment when you're playing? I'll BM? tell you. I know exactly oh. that feeling. Okay. <laughs> it's when you realize you've, you've messed up. Okay. Uh, Wait. Or you, or you were just a bit unlucky. It doesn't happen that often anymore, but in the past it did. And and you realize that your barb shot stacks are gonna drop before it's ready to shoot the next one. And you're oh. like, oh no, oh no, my stacks. <laughs> and then you're like, wait a second, let me just spam the key in case I get a proc. I do that. And, <laughs> and, and then and then you get the proc like just oh. before it drops, and you're like. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, 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 that is a really good feeling. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, <laughs> like when you're spamming it and you're hoping, and All your right. prayer actually gets answered. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's similar to like wind striking with ascendance, like the last GCD. Mm. Come on, please. Okay, I get it. Those are the good. Okay, that's the good stuff. That's pretty. I thought that was right. going into like I a self say- dig, but that was pretty good. What's up, moves? Yeah. Okay, I have two. One's mm-hmm. one's about pets and one's about DOD. DOD when okay, it's either really good or really bad. It's such a bad feeling when 
you get a DOD proc, and then you get like a lot of barb shot procs, and it keeps proccing DOD, but you already have a DOD proc, so it's like, okay, well, I don't really need it, but cool, refresh. And then when you run out, you just hit like four barb shots in a row, and then you just don't get DOD procs, mm-hmm. but you just got like five in a row. It's like, all right, feels bad. It's very, uh, very RNG. Um, but the good feeling is when you use a DOD proc, you hit a barb shot as it's expiring, you get another DOD proc, and you just keep chaining them. That's a very good feeling. Mm. I think yeah, chat even came back to me. When you get death, the dance of death procs, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I think a fun, a fun point, and it was a bug back in, when was it? I, I guess it was the end of Legion. Um, there was a bug where, I don't remember what triggered the bug, but it was, you could basically make your pet super big. And it was like when you, Oh yeah. When, I do you I remember, remember it, like on Helia? Like I have a clip of me. Um, I don't like remember you did, how you, you did it. I remember seeing way. people. And then, yeah, your pet got like the size of Helia. Like it was giant. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was I, like, we're huge. not talking a little bit bigger. We're talking about. <laughs> No, like boss big, big. like big? Yeah. like giant. Emo and, in chat, a big and red everyone, ray gun toy. Yeah, and everyone and everyone could see the pet, and so like I remember on Helia I did it, and like no one could see where they were walking on Helia because my pet was just giant in the middle of the boss. All right, <laughs> and no one, all like all the melee were pissed and wanted me to fix it. Um, and you could fix it just by like dismissing your pet and resummoning, but I don't right. I don't remember what triggered the bug. Um, I, yeah, I don't remember either. Uh, it was it was really All right, fun. But a- another really cool feeling. Okay. It's not as exciting, but is uh when you do in da- when you're doing a dungeon and you have the rapid reload talent and you're like popping all your cooldowns and you start doing a massive AoE pull. Yeah. And as soon as the mo- the mobs die, you're like, oh, I have aspect again up. Like that's just oh, when you see the cooldown like took took took, it's just getting ready again. No. <laughs> So, or in uh, Temple of Sethralis, when you're padding on the in the orb room. Whoa. Oh yeah. You you, you, you use literally Aspect have it ready wild. before it runs out. Yeah, like you have it ready. <laughs> no, like five seconds later, you just keep using Aspect of the Wild. And just yeah. Keep... <laughs> it's, that's a really good feeling. Yeah. I've always thought Aspect of the Wild was a very weird cooldown because they de- it desyncs from Bestial Wrath, but I guess now because of yeah. because of some sort cooldown of. reduction interactions, you get it. Well. Bestial Wrath is essentially like a 35 second cooldown, and single target um, aspect of the wild is two minutes. Yeah. Um, or if you use vision, it's like 1.6 minutes or something like that. Every other. Um, yeah. And then rapid reload in Mythic Plus, it's just a random cooldown based on how many mobs you pull. Yeah. But, so I mean, you just hit it when it's ready. It's ready, you know. It's pretty like, much, yeah. You, you don't really plan ahead because yeah. you don't know how many procs you're gonna get for Bestial Wrath. Like on Bloodlust at the start, you pop your second Bloodlust, uh, Bestial Wrath, bef- like right as your first one is running out. So it's like a 15 yeah. second cooldown. You don't really. It's it's really random. Yeah. How lucky you get. Yeah. All right. Important follow up questions, gentlemen. You both play Horde, and I don't foresee you ever going Alliance anytime soon unless it was a guild decision. So... I don't know. Those Mechanomes look really good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Mechanomes or Volpera? Is one of them going to sway you? To no. change? Well, I don't I'm know. The cheat death, I mean, it looks pretty <laughs> juicy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That, that, that thing's to get nerfed, in my opinion. But we'll it, see. It to, yeah, I mean, compared to Volpera, Volpera's for hunters, at least, Volpair is garbage. Like, there's literally not a single trait. But you could be, the... you could be Robin Hood. You could be yeah. a furry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There are a lot of people that. Any, are any be furries furry in the Volpares. chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Cool. Um, it's a, actually, I actually really like the Volpair like voice lines and stuff. Like oh, the yeah. what's the what's the one? It's like the secret. Like when you do slash secret, it's like come closer. I'll tell you what the fox says. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then and then there's like I don't even remember what some of the others are. But I I like I don't know. I might do it on like my alt or something. But nah, I don't think I would switch to pair on my hunter. No. No. I mean, we still don't know what the racial exactly does. I think for Volpera, true, right? True. Mm. Yeah, they haven't like the it. damaging part. I'm guessing there's going to be a damaging part. I was like, there better know. be because it's a pretty bad rage. <laughs> Ooh, you I get mean, it has the tank part, wow. right? 
<laughs> it has the tank yeah. one where it's like you get reduced damage or whatever for the first yeah one percent fire damage yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty funny how the conversation came up when Volpera and Mechanomes were announced that both were not surprising, but the the Volpera pull is more because they're cute little foxes, even though they're just they're just furry goblins. Whereas the mechanomes are like, wow, they look kind of trash, but holy crap, their racials are really good. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's the way they've balanced out how players are going to choose which one to pick. The one that has busted ass racials. You have your own built-in mirror image. And currently, that really strong 90 second uh, internal cooldown cheat death heal kind of deal. Or... Volpera, you could actually just transmog to look like Robin Hood from the old animated mm -hmm. movie where he's the Yeah, fox. I mean, Mechanomes literally have a shaman talent as a racial. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a little OP. But hmm. <laughs> Wait, which one? The the healing, the cheat death one is a shaman talent. It's a talent. It's oh, the exact is that? Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, what's it called? Nature's Guardian or something like that? Nature's Guidance or I don't know what it's called. It's the, the, the pseudo wait, shaman wait. cheat death. Yeah. Can, can mechanomes be shamans? No. Shamans for? No. Okay. Because no. I was going to be like, which one, we, which one procs first, you know? Like, <laughs> does, does the egg or the chicken come first? Like, yeah. Uh... Mm -mm. yeah. Oh, the camp racial has potential for farming alts. Camp near farm spot, recall there uh, from anywhere. That's true. I see that, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a cool, like, I wish all of the racials were like that. Because I think that's a cool racial to have. Same as... Oh, this uh, one has a mailbox. I don't know, the Void Elf or something has a, yeah, a mailbox. Yeah, yeah the mailbox. No, stuff like that is what I think racials should all be like. You mean so, uh, so but... not DPS impacting or performance oriented racials? Oh, wow. Right, yeah, exactly. Hmm. Like, what, a, what an original idea, I know, right? But, uh, but still not like complete trash ones that do nothing, because a lot of them yeah. do nothing. Like, I don't know, some of them, plus 10 engineer. I think that those still exist, right? Like, who cares? Yeah, the yeah. ones that are the plus <laughs> professions, like, Dre and I get, like, 15 jewel crafting or something like that, like, okay. Oh, wow. Can't it, wait to it, craft those gems. It helps for a little bit, but, yeah. Yeah. Helps for a little bit. But, all right, Chad, if you have questions for our guests, save them for just a moment, because I am going to babble on about a few things real quick here. I'll leave my guests to have a short break, a reprieve, if if you will. But uh, shout out to Lux. Thanks for the host right there, right before I, I bounced over here. But, again, also a shout out to these nerds and ladies that are supporting the show, the stream, and everything in between. Shout out to Sage, my graphic artist, for putting this together. The picture on your left is Eris Morn. That's just from Destiny 2. But the he actually posed Rathion in the same way with the WoW Tools add-on or program thing, which is pretty awesome. I didn't expect him to do that. But thanks to all the, the uh, producers supporting what I do here on Patreon, which there is a Patreon for the show where you get more stuff. There's the wallpapers for, well, we have the Jaina wallpaper out for Mythic Jaina, and then we're going to have one soon here for Mythic Ajara as well. Once I get the boss down, it goes up on Patreon for the art tier and above. But there's also the behind-the-scenes show notes if you want to see how the show is put together. There's also, the I would say that the biggest thing is that there's just more of the show. We put together like 20, 30, 40-minute extra podcasts that are behind the scenes with no script. There's the Patreon BTS podcast tier with the, uh, the tag. And I'm also going to be sort of figuring out, we were doing this, uh, the private stream Q&A AMA behind the scenes show. This is going to be moving to Twitch now because you can do sub only broadcasts. So I might do some of this stuff where I actually talk about all the behind the scenes things and upcoming works just here on Twitch. But with the, uh, the new sub only stream, that'll be kind of an interesting feature there. But we're already working on the, the holiday cards. If you're in the producer's chat in Discord, you have already seen an early sketch preview of the holiday card. But that is all right down there. But if you want to support the show in a more physical sense for yourself, and not just only in the digital side of things, of course, the show is partnered and sponsored with Corsair and Elgato. There are links down below the stream and on YouTube. And I want to make this very clear because this sort of happened more recently to update how this works. 
if you want to support what I do here, there is a code now you can use. Just Final Boss. And it's on Corsair Peripherals and Elgato Gear. Now, as an apple can spoil, uh, one rotten apple can spoil the whole barrel, some coupon websites have started, like, pulling and aggregating someone else's, uh, their discount code and using it automatically. But then it gives that website the actual sale, not the broadcaster, not the content creator in question. So if you want to support what I do here or any of the other Corsair affiliates out there, you have to go through their link, which is right down below the stream, and then also use our discount code at checkout. But if there is a better Corsair sale happening, as long as you enter with our link, and then just don't close that tab, you'll see our name like in the top bar above where your URL is whenever you're purchasing anything, then you're still good to go. But if you tab away or do something different, then it will not count. But I am working on a huge build. I actually had a meeting with my uh, my Corsair guy the other day, actually, talking about a whole bunch of things for the future. And I have a ton of stuff ready to build. So if you are looking for a new audio file style headset, this thing slaps. I actually used it on the previous show and it ruined my audio because it was too good. But you can go check out the new Virtuoso line just came out the other day. And of course, everything else that Corsair has to offer. And it'll still support what I do here. And we have the holidays around the corner, so I know there's going to be some some sales coming up. Some RAM, freaking drives, power supplies, cases, peripherals, keyboards, mice, chairs, mice, all the stuff. You can go check that out. Link down below. But that is that for me. It is question time. And actually, hold on a second. Roger, what is on your head? Uh, that uh, what a great question actually <laughs> if you if you look closely you can notice uh, something appearing over here i don't know if you can make it out mm -hmm. you know what this is that's right that is the corsair logo is that is that <laughs> i mean i i am personally not graced yet with the virtuoso uh i can't wait oh. to try them out okay don't right no here, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh no I haven't even taken but, the plastic uh... <laughs> off yet because I haven't really christened them. Look at this. The plastic is still here. So I gotta I can pull that off. Not right now. Not right now. Leave that off. Leave that off. As but... we were talking about satisfying things, that's that's one right no, there. The, <laughs> these are actually they're 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 such a crazy upgrade in audio quality for what I'm used to right now that I couldn't use them because I have to redo all of my audio balancing and I'm just not about that life right now. So when I get my GoXLR set up, my new setup. Then I'll be able to manually change their audio volume, but they they actually pump. It's it's insane. I never had like an mm -hmm. audiophile headset before that actually has like super wide range of I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really good. There are stuff there's mm -hmm. things in World of Warcraft and in Destiny that I haven't heard in headsets in a long time. Like all the background noises and like little little things that all the sound designers put in. But that's not the new Void Elite. That's what I was wondering. Is that the new Void Elite? No, this the is the Pro? Void Pro. This okay. is Void Pro, the wireless. Yeah. You see, there's no wire. Mm -hmm. Same with so, me. I have HSC. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually, honestly, I thought, like when I first saw them, okay, so this is full disclosure, I thought the shape looked a little funny because it, it's like, I don't know, like it, it's not round. Right. So I thought, wait a second, like my ear is round, right? Like, <laughs> How is that going to fit there? Or it's oval, I should say. Yeah. Uh, so I was a little skeptical, but actually this is, I, I must say, one of the most comfortable headsets I've worn, uh, I've worn uh, in a while. Uh, so, I mean, because the thing is, you can wear something for like an hour or two, but the real test is, wait, if you wear it for like up to six hours plus, do you still feel like, Oh, I need to take a break and like you take it out, or is it like, okay, I don't, I don't feel anything. It's it's super comfortable. So it did pass that test of mine, and I'm really happy for that. Which uh, on first sight you think, oh, this looks fancy, but it, it's not gonna be really comfortable. It is. So there you go. That's what I was curious that about. Is, uh... That that what I'm scrolling by here is the Void Elite, which is just the step up from what you have right there. So that's why I was curious if. Mm hmm. If what the difference between the the Void Pro and the new Void Elite? Because I'm not sure. 
So I must wear in the HS seventies currently. Uh I'm not sure actually. I haven't checked it out. I'm not sure. Requires a little more research. Mm-hmm. Requires more research. But chat, I have some canned questions we can go through here, of course. But if you have questions for Roger and Moves about hunters and BM hunters specifically. You can toss those out in chat right now. Yeah, Bay is even having his guests shilling for him. Hey! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not shilling if you're just happy about a product that actually isn't, you know, junk. There's a lot of stuff out there that you're just like, you know, I'm not too sure about that. But I was a mm -hmm. Corsair fanboy before I even got partnered with them, so. I actually have uh, more Corsair products, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, you had, to, you had to hide the boxes <laughs> before the show started. Uh, yeah, even my PC has a few in it. Mm. Mm. All right, which hunter pet Anyways. is your favorite? Okay. Do you have a hunter pet mm. that is your favorite? Or maybe a uh, pet that you've had the longest that has actually some uh, sentiment <laughs> sentimental value to you that you always default to? And you can use whatever pet you want now, right? Because there's no, like, families and schools. You know, they all like the mm -hmm. same damage. So do you just pick one based on the utility? But is there one that you just, what's your go-to pet that you remember getting, you've had a long time, or your favorite, like, the uh, model? What I'd say Gara. What's that one? Gara. This one is um, that? From Wad? I think it was Wad, the purple wolf spirit beast. Oh. Hmm. So, he, yeah, that's the problem, yeah. If you're playing BM, you kind of need to use a spirit beast in raids. Because yeah. it gives you the heal. Uh, and it also has a dispel, right? Uh, and like and off defensive. offensive dispel, <laughs> and it's basically like the best you can have, unless your group, especially in dungeons as well. Unless you need bloodlust, you go for a spirit beast. So, what do you use the most? A any spirit beast? I'm actually right now using Hati. I don't mm, know. Okay. I just don't don't mind it. I I'm using actually the what is it? Bluish version of. Hati, mm, uh, blue, dark blue, yeah. This one right here. I uh, see all your. Oh uh, yeah. It's. Wait, uh, can it's, you see it? Oh uh, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, the the free one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, damn. Um, There's, out of my five pets, two of them actually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, a shout out to Apco, actually. That's a pretty cool pet. Yeah. Was used. Apco actually was used um, to kill Major Domo back in Firelands. So Ooh. he has a history. Yeah, back yeah. when, back when you could actually have your pet taunt and take the cleave from the scorpion, oh, and uh, kind of bug the boss like that. Uh, please no ban. <laughs> then um, the my, my my favorite looking pet though is the one from the molten front, which I the name I always forget it. It's like the kind of obsidian looking black cat. What is it called, man? I don't know what's it called. I mean, I can check. Yeah, really maybe maybe someone knows in the <laughs> chat. What? He's looking at my pets now, and you can see that I don't name my pets. At all. <laughs> oh, I see a couple of names. <laughs> like you have the Devil Sar. Just Devil Sar. But that's <laughs> Thok. That's Thok. That's not a Devil Sar. That's freaking Thok. <laughs> <laughs> so normally I, I bring up our guests' armories to sort of have like an armory competition between what their mogs are. I'm pretty sure, Roger, you've been wearing this mog for so long. It doesn't, True. It doesn't count anymore. So move C might win by default. Wait, you have to refresh mine. Oh, you changed Wait yours? a second. Wait, I didn't I wasn't told that's why you wanted our armory, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, no, but for you guys, I was gonna ins it's your your pets, right? It's so who wins based on their pets? Okay. I refreshed. I don't I don't move C. I, I honestly change. don't remember when I used the hyena. It was for progress. Uh -huh. And I remember I was really Really glad that the boss died when I used that pet. Hence the name. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, um, I'm with I'm with Kib on this too. Neither of you named your pet Twitch Prime. True. I'll name my Spirit Beast that right now, Kib. Okay. It's nameless. Yeah, it's just Spirit Beast. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta name a Twitch Prime. That's a really important one. How about there was a question here? Do you guys have any opportunities to use Flare in current content? Uh, Definitely. In yeah? raid, I don't think in raid in dungeons a ton. Yeah, I use Flare a lot in dungeons. Um, this Flare raid is. Is Flare is one of those things where, you know, every hunter has something, like everyone who plays the game has some ability that they just use when they don't have anything to, to do, right? <laughs> for me, for me, it's Flare. Like, so for example, oh, okay. you finish phase I, one. Queen's Court, you could use it. Uh, Qu Queen's Court, yeah, I guess, for the repeat or what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's other things. There's other use things, there. like just, yeah, yeah. Faint yeah. Death, Cheetah, yeah. in, um, Counter Shot. But uh, Flare, if you see, I, I don't even think about it, right? Like whenever there is a phase change and you don't have a target to hit, like on Azara, right? As soon as phase one ends, I always throw a Flare where we're going. <laughs> even though everyone knows where we're going, I just throw a Flare, you know, just for the effect, just to make everyone feel welcome. And also, sometimes I actually use it on progress to say... You know, obviously it's not the best method, but I was on the cool. I think I was like, "Yo, guys, let's kill this ad first. So I would just drop a flare on the ad instead of dropping a marker, because mm -hmm. it kind of is the same thing, right? Like it takes a global, whatever. Yeah. So I would say it does have a little bit of a use if you are raid leading, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> just that as an actual idea. flare, right? Like actual visual effect. Is this the glyphed, glyphed flare or or standard flare? Uh, I don't know. It's, I think it's a normal one. Like, what does the glyphed yeah. one do? That's what I'm asking. I don't asking. have a glyphed flare. Is it, does it change the color or something? Does I no, it? I don't know. I don't think I've, so. I, I didn't know it existed. I'm going to have to look this up now. I don't think it has a glyph anymore. I think it had one, but when they removed a bunch of glyphs, I think it got removed, if I'm not mistaken. Let me Flares see. Flares three glyphs? I don't think it has three glyphs anymore, does it? Really? What does it make it like blue and green and stuff? Or what? Glyph of the Goblin Anti Grav Flare? Enha oh, it changes your flares with Goblin Anti Grav Flares. They almost work, and at least they don't explode. Hmm. <laughs> There's also Stellar Flare. Makes you shoot a Stellar Flare highlighting the target location. That sounds druidy. Get that out. What? The, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Come so, yeah, on, there, man. There are two different glyphs for, for Flare. Stellar Flare. Okay. I, think it, I think it had Antigua. more. I think yeah. some of them got removed. Yeah, okay. Um, wow. OG, man. OG. OG Yo. Flare. Uh, yeah. but, but in content, aside from Raid... I, I think you do use it in the new raid. I think Nihilotha, I think there's a mechanic where oh, you really? actually will use Flare. Um, oh. Or you don't have to use it, but I think it, you can use Flare. Hmm. Um, but in, in dungeons, like in Ataldazar, the Stalkers, you can Flare them out. True. Um, there's a couple different spots. And uh, I'm trying to think. In Temple of Sethralis, you can Flare the, the padding guys uh, around the first mm -hmm. boss. Mm -hmm. um, trying oh, to think okay. what else. There's a couple spots in dungeons. PvP, obviously, you can use them for like rogues or druids or you know whatever. Um, in uh, in island expeditions, when that rogue, what's your name, that gnome rogue comes and gets oh. you, gnome uh, rogue, and, and then, it's sneaky yeah. Pete. Dabby. Exactly, it's that sneaky, sneaky okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pete. Sneaky when Pete. she's like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna die. Cloak vanish. Stabby Lottie. So, that one. But you That's see where she's one. running towards, yeah, and she just runs in straight lines, and then you just flare in front of her, and then you. It's horde. Great use. Of... No, I think Sneaky Pete is the, the horde yeah. version, right? Stabby yeah, yeah, Lottie's yeah. the alliance. No, okay, okay, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Does Stabby Lottie actually yell a lot, just like Sneaky Pete does, though, on the alliance side? <sighs> I don't know. She's I don't know. Sneaky Pete is the worst <laughs> rogue because when he's coming out of stealth, he yells. Yeah. Oh. So you know where he is because a text box pops up where he is. It's, it's <laughs> the dumbest thing. That's kind of the whole point. <laughs> Islands of advanced scale. AI. Yeah, advanced AI. Mm -hmm. the... <laughs> Not quite there yet, I guess. Yeah. Well, this one also came by. It has to be a hunter question. Are you a 
a gun hunter or a bow hunter or a crossbow hunter? Bow. Is there such a thing as a crossbow hunter? <laughs> no. No one plays with crossbows. The crossbow yeah. models are so bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, does anyone actually, like, thinks to himself, let's transmog my bow or my gun to a crossbow? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. But no, I'm definitely a bow guy. Yeah, both, 100%. Of, you are, yeah. both of you are bows right now. Yeah. I think gun depends. If it's, like, a really cool gun, I might use it. Because normally I'm too lazy to transmog stuff, but uh, you know if it looks cool, I might use it for like a tier. Oh, speaking of guns, uh, Titan Strike. You mean this gun? Is uh right? Titan like I think Strike, I used yeah. that a There's little bit. There's a couple bit. cool, yeah. I used that a little bit, yeah. Which Titan Strike is your favorite skin? Uh, uh, not that one. I like uh, the snake one. <laughs> Ser serpent, serpent bite. Ah, yeah. Is that the Mage Tower one? Uh, I'm not sure. No, that one. That's a, the really tiny one. I didn't like that. The boar shot cannon? What the heck? This is the PvP yeah. one. What is this? PvP, yeah. It's a sniper or what? I didn't like that one. I like the snake. Oh, one. oh, that one, yeah. But yeah, Serpent Bite. This was the Mage Tower one, I think, right? The snake? The crazy snake? One. Um, yeah, I think so. And Titan's Reach was the hidden one. That was actually a bow. That was the, the one where you just buy. It was like the worst hidden skin. Yep. Well, they pat I had to patch it in because it wasn't in at launch or something. It was busted. I don't know. Not <laughs> yeah. But it's the only bow for a Titan Strike. Everything else is obviously a gun. But the, yeah. gun the gun sounds are way that was actually part of when I did my BM hunter testing going into BFA. Is uh gun sounds were updated. They don't sound as awful anymore, as far as I remember. But then you lost your 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 gun. <laughs> you don't, didn't have it anymore, at least not yep. primarily. <clears throat> I use Eagle Watch from time to time, depending on my transmog. It's a cool looking gun. I'm I'm one of those guys that change my transmog every couple days, so I like switch between a bunch of different transmogs for guns and bows and stuff like that. Well, I actually okay. Try refreshing my armory again, because I, I changed, and I'm looking at the updated one, and I actually have a gun on my transmog. Okay. I'm gonna, I don't I'm know gonna, why it's not updating for you. I'm going to refresh a few times here. Yeah, you're still wearing the uh, the fish armor that I see here. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it just didn't uh, trickle down to your server or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, still wearing the fish armor. Armory takes a while to update. He will even give it a, a live refresh. Right? Oh, by the way. Yes. I I saw a tweet about it, I think. Don't remember by whom. Mm -hmm. But the thing I saw, I hope it's not the case. Is the new mail set from the new raid, like the new tier of Azerite? Does it does it look absolutely horrible or it looks what? I, I don't like it. The plate one looks super cool. Looks like I don't know, like futuristic, like almost like Destiny 2 or something. But the male one is awful. The cloth one is cool. I think the leather and the male one are awful. Hmm. There, yeah. See the updated. Yeah, you've got there the, we go. uh, the Garan's Ooh. brutal spear launcher from this is from HFC, yeah? This is all HFC gear. Yeah. You can't really tell. I actually really miss the remember the old armory where we could like pose our character? This is just like Default stance. It just pulls uh, your character out. Because so you can't even see the, the gun launcher spear thing here. You can't even see Roger's bow. It's all straight on. But yeah, I updated. Now it worked. Mm. Now it worked. So and what, what I saw though on the, the Harmony Cannoneer's mantle. I wish I could spend some residuum as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. uh, well, actually, it's it's easier for BM Hunters next year because we have the Cannoneer's Mantle, but they're also making Mechagon Mythic Plus, right? So mm -hmm. right. There's, a, there's a shoulder that's exactly a replica of Cannoneer's Mantle, basically. Mm. And mm. So we get two Cannoneer's Mantles, basically. I'm, I'm worried about... Not worried, but potentially scared for the farm for getting logic loops at higher eye level. It's going to be, you know, mages are going to be farming the crap out of Mechagon. Oh, for the bracers, for sure. Yeah. Mm. 
But the, the logic loops aren't really good right now because they are too low level. But once they go up to 445 or whatever Mythic Plus goes up to, you know you're going to want to get a logic loop that is like the, oh, when course. you're DPSing behind a boss, add X. It's the haste one, I think, for melee. They're going to want to be all over that. Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be even better. The two set rings, yeah. Because I don't even care that much about the effect. If If you're lucky... And you get a good one, like if this and that, sure. But I'm just excited because there is a big crit, small haste ring over there. And when I say mm -hmm. big, it's like I think the maximum amount of crit yeah. you can have. Yeah. And that is just insane, yeah? Like, I don't think there is any such ring in any other dungeon. <clears throat> and if if it stays the same and we play BM next, uh, like if they don't change the balance of the class, then I really want that ring. That's uh, uh, I sure. think there's uh, the crit ring from Waycrest Manor, but that's crit verse. But I mean, right now verse is pretty good and yeah. Raid but of all here's the thing: like stuff. if if everyone is going to be running Mechagon for all the loots, then it's probably going to be you know easier to get that one. Plus, you have this if this then that uh, the logic thing. You might get lucky and get some big thing there. I don't know. We'll see. There's also the new rings from Nailotha, mm -hmm. 2% uh, mm -hmm. damages. So it's going to be some competition there, I guess. Maybe that's why yeah. they did it, actually. The new ring. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think we'll. I mean, some of them are pretty funny for hunters because, like, one of the rings is like you get 2% damage, and then when you drop below 35% health, you taunt everything, and hunters can just feign death. You just feign death, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's yeah. another one where like it roots you or something, and we can just disengage it. Disengage, or like yeah. That. Yeah, um, we, I was looking at them, and there are some really, like there's like, two or three ones that, that are really fine, like you don't mind them. And then there's like some horrible ones, like if you get overhealed, you get an absorb healing thing on you. Yeah. Like, overflowing. What? Mm -hmm. How was... is that ever gonna work? Like I don't understand. <laughs> I was I was testing the one. It's like periodically it spawns a tentacle that you have to like kill or something like that yeah it grabs and it spawns you. it spawns out of combat so you're just like afk in the main city and tentacles are just really? spawning <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah that's some rp potential there moves <laughs> it's so bad yeah I'm i mean sure i'm sure they'll fix that but <laughs> yeah can we yeah well like that's so that was a that's a sort of a follow-up question we didn't really go over earlier is you i, I get asked this I always have the AMA tab on my stream, and I always see Spongebob information, and I'm sure you guys get this either in Discords or on your streams as well, but I get it, like, in a more general sense, where, say, a new returning player wants to know, like, what, what DPS class would be easiest to pick up and learn to get back into the game, and usually I, I default to saying Beast Mastery Hunter is definitely on, like, the easiest realm, and is that yeah, still the case? The yeah. It's one of the easier ones. I mean, honestly, I feel like most specs in WoW are pretty easy to pick up, minus a couple yeah. of Yeah. So now that but... I've played a bit more of the alts, I would say Balance Druid is really easy as well, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, I would yeah. say Demon Hunter is super easy. Havoc's really True. easy to play. You a lot of people say Demon Hunter is easy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think... To pick up, yeah, what Kib said, like to pick up, there is a ton of specs that are easy. Yeah. To play optimally, BM's probably one of the easier specs to play optimally. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of specs that are easy to learn, but then there's always like little like niche things that you have to like min max and stuff like that. Um, and BM doesn't really have too many of those. Like there's some with like Dance of Death up time and, you know, stuff like that, but it's really not that hard, especially since now we don't even care about like Frenzy. Um, like a lot of people that argue that BM's harder to play will say, oh, Frenzy, uptime, you have to maintain three stacks, that's pretty hard, and stuff like that. And people that say that are sort of dumb, because Frenzy, like, if literally, if you just hit barb shot off cooldown versus maintaining three stacks, it's like a 2% difference in your DPS. Like, it's like nothing. And so it's like, yeah, it's min maxi, but it's not like needed, I guess. Capital D colons in chat for that comment, Moofs. <laughs> <laughs> Capital D colon. Oh, no. Oh, Kib, Kib Dumb confirmed? Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> so this is a question from Word Up. Word Up Senpai wants to know. He considers this the best pet. I'm not sure what the the reasoning behind this is, but uh, what's the name of your spore bat pet, Moofs? Spore bat. Nice. No way. <laughs> how did you how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are they twins? <laughs> Wait, I actually gotta gotta check. Because maybe I, I named it. Oh, are you going to check your stable for your spore bag <laughs> yeah, real quick? Yeah, portable okay. stable, guys. It's fine. Yep. Oh, Jeez. engineering. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, spider monkey. That's not <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a spore bat. L level 85. Ouch. So I haven't used it in a couple of expansions there. Uh, yeah, a few. <laughs> uh, do I have another one? Oh, I have an, a nether ray here. Close enough. Uh, yeah. No, I think the spore, but that's it. Like, I haven't used it since... When was 85? It was Cataclysm? It's Cataclysm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been chilling in the, the stables for a long time. Oof. Yeah. Uh, that's like that Pokemon that you neglect that's in the Pokeball forever. Yeah, yeah but know. it's one of those things where BM Hunters never use spore bats, like all of BFA. Mm -hmm. There's just no reason to, because of Spirit Beast. Yep. And hey. Marksman Hunters, I don't think... I mean, I guess you could use a Spore Bat for... I think they're Ferocity, right? So it'd be for Bloodlust? Or are they Tenacity? I, I have no idea, honestly. Um, I don't know. I think maybe they are the the, the Freedom Pet, yeah? Maybe. Oh, they're Cunning? I think, maybe. Man, I don't know. I don't use Spore Bats. Am I cheating? <laughs> I'm cheating. One sec. I was looking at I'm... it the day... So I brought Time up... to get the the guy some some air as well. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> right. Let's bring him out. Because there are come a out lot. spore bat. There are a lot of pets. So spore it... bats are cunning with a dispel. Okay, there you go. Okay. Hey. So there's a big guide on Wellhead that there Ben Dak go. also put together about all the different hunter pets. Cause they just you guys just added feather manes and. Uh, what was it? Feather Manes and Mechanical. So new pets in existing families. It shows. Yeah, what much. is that about? The Mechanical Pet? I don't really get that, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's so gnomes could be, uh, could be hunters. And pterodactyls. And what? And... Does that mean that gnomes cannot be friends with animals or what? Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like, do you have the same sentimental connection with a robot as you do with an animal how do you tame a robot I, how does that make sense so you build it you, you build it for yourself essentially oh it's like okay like pinocchio kind of thing <laughs> yeah okay yeah <laughs> sure like, uh, it's pinocchio yeah uh, didn't is, think about that is wally not a person you hack it yeah yeah no i have um I actually did went to, I went to Nomergon on my hunter back in last expansion when I was playing a survival hunter. I went to Nomergon and got one of the uh the special mechanical dogs. Like four different colors of them. And I got the one from Nomergon. Okay. Nice. Yeah. But it, it matches want... like a, a, a you know, a gnome hunter. It matches, I suppose. I went to Nomergon in classic and I don't want to go back there for another couple of years. Like Jesus. <laughs> that place is brutal, yeah. Feather mains. You guys have hippogriffs now, griffins, wyverns, wolf hawks, and owl cats. Ah, right, that's cool, actually. I, I like that. I like that. It's literally a druid. You guys can have a druid as your pet. I will tame Lorgok then. Let's go. <laughs> 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 yeah, the wolf hawks look pretty awesome, though. The winged wolf griffin things. That we saw mm -hmm. in last expansion. Wyverns, yuck. They still look awful. Look at these vanilla graphics. That looks like how to tame your dragon kind of thing, yeah? No. Yeah. And hippogriffs, of course. You can actually tame Netherbeak. Mm -hmm. That's pretty huge. That's literally a mount. You could ride it while also having it as a yeah. pet. 
Only hunters. Yeah, that's by the the, way. the hunter fantasy. Just get pets and mounts at the same time and get a matching transmog. Well, see, this is why I brought this up at the beginning of the show. Yeah. <laughs> the bee mount with the bee pet with the bee huh. combat pet and the bee dire beast glyph. <laughs> Just is there, is there a bee, bee costume I can wear as well? Like, well, maybe you can probably transmog something that makes it look like a bee. Is there a toy? Yeah, that can make me a bee. See, that Barry B. Excellent. Benson would be super impressed if you did all of that. I mean, that needs to be a thing. I need to look into it. That's why I said it's the most important question for hunters right now. Yeah, be the bee. Gosh. <laughs> well, how about this one then? With all the different pets that have been added and coming back into the game, and a kind of thing like it feels that Blizzard specifically has a, a small division of their items team that must just work on hunter pets slowly because it keeps seeing like you get like you got the Hati quest line, you got feather mains, you got mechanical, they add like new pets families every every so often. So mm -hmm. what what are you waiting for? What pet model or type or family are you ready to get in the game and why is it ducks? Mm. Because they quack. <laughs> uh what what do I want? Alright, you ready for mine? Okay, what's right. up? Yeah. Cows. Come on, move C. Come on, I want to tame a cow. True. Would you, okay. Would yeah, you... I would have cow pets. What the heck? Can't wait to see a red cow coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> Do, I'm just waiting for, like, the, the you're on Horde side. <laughs> You have mm. Torin and High Mountain Torin. Would they be okay? Now you're gonna play a Torin hunter that has a cow as a pet, like you have. Listen, there are cows and like, like a Goldshire and stuff like that, and you can't tame them. They're just critters, and you just can only kill them. This is some like Goofy with Pluto as a pet. It's a sentient <laughs> dog person with a dog as a pet. <laughs> a sentient okay. cow with a cow as a. Come on. Uh... Wait, because I have I have something but i don't know what they're called no no you can get like hippos and mm. like like i don't know what they're called but the uh they're like hippos or not the bison but they're like water buffaloes or something like that oh yeah i don't know you can get something similar to cows but you can't get like a cow cow yeah chat brings up I me mean, volpera now can go you can go tame the really fancy foxes from Legion. Yeah, see, they get, fox they get fox. foxes. And you can yeah, ride the, the fox. Why can't Torin tame cows? They can talk to them. <laughs> it's true. Well, I guess you can have like a symbiotic relationship with your, your cow pet. <laughs> this is some RP you got going on, Moose. Are you going to you commit to this? Yeah. Okay. Obviously. Listen, okay. Any, any hunter that you meet is an RPer. And if they tell you otherwise, they're trolling you. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, Hunter is like the RP class, because you get all these pets and transmogs and mounts and everything like that, so... How... Yeah. How about one of these things? Here. One of what things? What's this? I hope I... Yeah. Like, I don't know what they're called. Oh, the Wolvar? <laughs> what the <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> those are... Those are... Those are people, Roger. Those are okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> Do you see anything? What is humanoid about what I just linked? Uh, <laughs> Explain it to me. <laughs> like, right. you I see mean... this and you're like, what a human. Can't wait to talk to him. <laughs> they were they were like an allied race. Allied race back in <laughs> Wrath. We worked with them. Oh, yeah. In the uh, Solitar Basin, right? No, Roger is pro slavery. <laughs> D, <laughs> D colon. Oh, no. I mean, oh, man. it would be cool if you had like a little guy like this, you know, going in, clawing their their stuff. <laughs> well, Roger already said he's taming Lorgok, so. Yeah, he's taming he's Lorgok. Already got, he's already got the. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Good luck taming that man, though, honestly. If you could get a. My goodness. <laughs> Roger bringing in the casual fantasy racism. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Lucy just said he I wants mean, to tame cows. So Yeah. Oh, the, I mean, the tiny frog. That... that was a really good one too. The tiny Did frog. Did you ever get frog? that, Roger? When the, the tiny uh, frog. 
Yeah, yeah. So when what was it? When when frogs first became tameable, you could uh, you could tame a tiny frog, and it was literally like the size of your foot. And <laughs> so you could you could have this tiny frog, and you couldn't see it anywhere. And so like you'd go like PvP or whatever. Oh, it still works. I think you can still get it. Really? But it's like the size of a critter. Yeah. It still works. How hmm. how would that work in PvP? That sounds super troll. <laughs> Yeah, because you have this tiny, like, no one can see your pets. <laughs> Don't talk about it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. We messed up. Yeah. Well, what was the last thing? Oh, that... did you get? What the, if you Did could... you get the, the pupper? See, that's what I was, about, I was about to ask. Yeah. Not pupper. The, the pupper. So in uh, in Legion, <laughs> yeah. you could, the was it Druids? I think it was the Druid class hall. You could get summoned inside the Druid class hall and get a pup like a puppy but it, it looked like like it wasn't like a normal dog it was like wait it you was, have to wait was, essentially it was the frost wolf combat pet pup that you could have it as, okay. a, as a pet and blizzard made it they, they nerfed it fun detected so you can only get it but if you had it you still keep it what but some, but some people still have it yeah, yeah. outraged right now <laughs> i'm absolutely outraged i give me my puppy please come on yeah 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 I mean, honestly, why why would they do that though? Like now, I'm intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wait, it was okay. Let me. Can oh, I wait. see it? Wait, I can't link links. Oh well, that not that. Wait, why that link? Why did that? I see what you linked. Yeah, we hear you, hear you, hear you. Oh crap, bastard. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well. No, I got you. It up. I got you. <laughs> it's this one right here. Yeah, you know, little little frost wolf pup. Yeah. Ah. Oh! Look at you it. Could, you could tame that. <laughs> oh, come on, man. And then they got rid of it after like a week. But some people, I knew some people that like if you if you leave it as your main pet, you could uh, you you still have it. Like they can't get rid of it if it's like your main pet. Yeah, people still really? have it. They changed yeah. the model to some old wolf model. Oh wait, no, they so, actually did. So supposedly, no. Supposedly, if you never stable the current pet and you kept it. The model never changed, so some people I think hmm. still have it. I can't. This is weird. I'm trying to zoom in on it, but it won't zoom in. It just magnifies wow head. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's way too cute. Yeah. Well, it's also so it's a non-combat pet, and it it was flavored like to be a shaman pet too. You see it all around the um the Frostwolf clan in uh, in Legion. Or I guess it was more in Warlords. It was Warlords. Yeah, because it's in um, Frostfire Ridge. But it is definitely a little, <laughs> little frost wolf. What if, what if we could tame like, like mini mini dragons? Is that is there a uh... oh, like well? Oh, um. What if okay? What if we could tame Deathwing with the Deathwing mount that's coming out? Boom. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah, exactly. Wait, you mean? Wait, how big would? The Deathwing we tamed to be, so I don't know. It'd be like a spore bat size or something, <laughs> well, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> like a mini Deathwing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because the mount is pretty small <laughs> compared to the big guy, so oh, well, uh, it would be like a normal pet size. It would have to be. Yeah, taming dragon would be so cool. Yeah, like just um, kind of miniature ones, right? Like some that uh, didn't go too well with the evolution into <laughs> full grown ones yeah. you just get like the little tiny ones but they're mature just... right like they're not baby whelps yeah they're right. like mature but small if that makes sense just that... tame this off god <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but no but really back when um back when we were able to tame like thok and stuff like that you would have to like if you didn't have like people to clear a raid for you you'd have to go into like lfr and like ninja tame it so like they'd be like doing the boss or whatever and you just start taming and just like leave or whatever. the voice was gone yeah <laughs> uh -huh. dragon expansion hunters gonna tame dragon kid with a dragon knight hero class 9.0 predictions oh come on thadrin we need specs for specs <laughs> bm off shot into dragon rider spec yeah no so okay fine i'll recognize this chica keeps asking for squirrels you can do nuts I you thought about nuts. that, but uh, squirrels are a bit too small, aren't they? Like, they need to be a little bit bigger than that. It's a squirrel, Roger. 
<laughs> Wait, yeah, no, like I don't know, mutated squirrels. That I don't know something. I, you can't just be like this. You can't Look just be like this. Boat. Yeah. So the, the, is there a squirrel? Uh, it's a mechanical squirrel. It's called ah, nuts. Mechanical. And there's a mechanical rabbit. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Um, I think we've derailed yeah. derailed long enough here. Let's, <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. call it back. Uh, Roger, do you have any shout outs, closing remarks, some soapbox, anything you want to put a moratorium on, or any wondrous bits of wisdom you'd like to share with the hunter community? <gasps> okay, that was quite a lot that you asked for me right there. Um, <laughs> you have 35 <laughs> seconds. No, 35 seconds. Okay. <laughs> no, um, play only Beastmaster, ignore all the other specs. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> Corsair, I love you. Method, new merch. Um, what else? Uh, Nyalotha looks great. Let's uh, let's have some fun there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. What, thank you for having me at the show. It was uh, it was great. And that's it. You don't have anything you want to squash? No moratoriums to put on anything. People you keep asking. Any what? A moratorium. Something you you keep hearing about in the hunter community that you want to like say stop. Just don't. No. It's just oh. Shit. Oh, I didn't know that word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fair. It's what? Fair. I don't I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, I, I maybe how many stacks of coral do you press your coral at? Oh that God. is that is just the, I guess not just the hunter one. Mm. But just use it when you have an aspect of the um uh, of the what's it called of the wild yeah just pop it with that and be done with it you know i mean sure some fights you can do some other stuff depending you know maybe you want to save it up for a hard phase i don't know but like don't overstress about it just don't use it randomly without anything else up obviously and that's uh, that's about it people will go way too crazy with this trinket and don't just spam it. Some people, I've, I've heard people use it on CD on every 20 seconds, just oh. popping it. Like, Yikes. don't do that. Okay. Oh, no, please don't do that. Mm. Oh, and Yikes. I mean, small tip on that as well. Mm -hmm. If the target that you have your coral on dies, you get the buff and you can instantly use it on a new target. You don't have to wait for the yeah. 20 seconds, which is specifically useful. Mythic it was plus. for me for uh, Queen Azara phase three. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. It's yeah, yeah. You saved those twenty plus seconds. To you. Yeah, mythic plus as well. Sure. Yeah. I had a sidebar image was given to me with the the small toad pet. That's the size of the the frog toad pet next yeah. to a void elf. That's how tiny this thing is. Oh my god! Look at it. <laughs> that's a that's a hunter <laughs> pet. Yeah. Yep. And you can have two of them with the uh, animal companion, just little froggies running around. Yeah, and suddenly like, oh my god, I'm taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> little frog. And the, does the animation do the sort of like like leap tongue out animation thing? Too, Probably, yeah. So it's like this tiny. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get on that crog wall mount, frog army. You were right. You know, moves to your right. Hunter. All hunters are RPers. I I'm telling you, like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if anyone says they're not an RP, even even Azor is an RPer, all right? Oh. The, uh, yeah. Transmog pets, you know, all those guys, RPers. Don't let them tell you otherwise. That's why they play Hunter. Okay, can I say something completely random that I just remembered, though? Okay. Sorry. Uh, we're, are we going way off track? No, no, with the, the show? <laughs> Okay. Uh, am I the only one? Okay. Can you pull up the kill command icon? I just. I don't know, I just uh, find it somewhere. This is something that I realized way too late. Been a couple of years now, but at, for the longest time, I thought the kill command icon showed a like mouth that opens up towards the top right corner. And I never realized what it was. And then at some point, I thought to myself, that can't be right. That was just too too stupid. <laughs> and then I realized that it's just a guy, like, moving the hand up or something, like, commanding it. <laughs> pointing. Actually kill commanding, right? Yeah. But pointing. am I the only one that didn't get that for, like, the longest time? Like, I don't know. I've some actually icons... never looked at the icon. I yeah, never realized it was a guy. Some icons are just, for some reason, really hard for me to understand what they are. <laughs> I don't know. 
I see the guy now that you pointed out, but I've actually never <laughs> looked at the yeah. icon that hard. Like, I just thought it was a whale coming out of the sea with the <laughs> mouth open. <laughs> That's what I thought, honestly. It's... And I'm like, why we don't have pets that can swim? Like, oh well, they can, I guess. But well, <laughs> no, no I we don't have fish. I did not. Th- no, I, it's someone pointing with like a tail flying by it or something. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah well that's that's something uh, new okay moosey how about you shout outs moratoriums little words of wisdom and tidbits well, you want to share have uh, you seen so an he, icon that you didn't know what it looked like before <laughs> not that but okay. uh he, he must did point out a uh, thrill the hunt and a lot of hunters oh. use thrill the hunt in mythic plus or uh, in raid or whatever and thrill the hunt first of all it doesn't so if you don't know what the ability or the talent does it gives you um crit percentage um based on man i don't even know what it does hold on <laughs> I don't barb, it. every uh, time you barb, barb shot increases your crit strike chance yeah second up to three times right so you'd think it'd be good because it gives you nine percent crit and crits are best stats well it doesn't work for pets it only the crits chance that you get only benefits the hunter Oh. And as most people know, our pets do 60, 70% of our damage, right? And so that 9% crits only apply to the 30% of damage that the hunter does. Um, so that in and of itself is pretty bad. Um, and most people don't know that. But two, um, it sims decently well on like sustained AoE. And so a lot of people think that it's good in dungeons. And it's it's not bad in dungeons because more crit um actually i'm it, it gives you a chance it gives you more chance for barb shots which give you more stomp so it's like viable and like sustain aoe but do not use it in dungeons like you basically never use the talent but it's not good in dungeons because it's like a five percent dps or maybe not quite that high but it's like one or two percent dps loss in single target and it's barely better in aoe and dungeons like crows is just so much better for priority target damage single target damage and you can get resets and you can't sim resets and sims and so crows is just miles crows is miles better so if you're using thrill the hunt change that immediately don't use that (laughs) um uh yeah just wanted to say emos yeah emos pointed that out um the other stuff i guess uh thank you for having me on the show um but of course, thank you for helping me put together the show. Shout out to Roger yeah, for of course, of course. two days ago being just like, yeah, we can sit down and talk. Because yeah, Lucy and I were asking, like, <laughs> it's just we time to like, talk, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you say that, but uh, we asked like a half a dozen other hunters, and they were all just like, no, thank you, or they're busy, or they don't play Hunter anymore, or they're taking a break. And <laughs> yeah. Strange um, things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember all the things you asked us. At the beginning of this, <laughs> so, shout outs, segue. words of wisdom, moratoriums, soapbox, that kind of stuff. Just uh, closing comments. I don't know. Shout outs to my guild, Hard in the Pain. Shout outs to True Shot Lodge. Uh, I don't know. That's it. True. That's it. <laughs> shout out to my guild, and I hope I get a second hunter next progress. <laughs> Play with. What do you mean? Make make Gingy and Mira's uh, go hunter. Again. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's uh, just they, I was the lone wolf, now. literally. <laughs> literally. Ugh. Not even spected, but it in real life. Okay, I'm hitting this yeah. button, gentlemen. The button right. has been pressed. Thank you all very much for tuning in to episode number 199. There's nothing really special with the 200th episode, but it's Vengeance Demon Hunter next week, and the week after that, 201 will be another pre-BlizzCon special. And then 202, after BlizzCon, will be the post-BlizzCon special. Post-BlizzCon special is Mike and Noble, as is tradition. The annual sitting down of the two of us, uh, well, three of us, I guess, two of them and me, talking about what happens at BlizzCon, With this BlizzCon is going to be a little spicy. We'll see, hopefully for different reasons than what's going on right now. And then the, um, the pre-BlizzCon special I have Big Dan, Mr. GM, in the wings, and then we're looking for one other guest as well. I've asked a couple other people, but they've been busy because of just YouTube work or 
the holiday stuff or being gone or whatnot. So we'll find someone else for that show. Or or just be Mr. Mr. GM and I talking about stuff for the whole two hours. But around the table, yet again, there's Roger Brown. You can follow him on twitch.tv forward slash the same name. Roger, hopefully you get Thank another you. hunter buddy. In Thank Loco. you. I would appreciate it. Or and just, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, just, what? just play survival then. Be a melee boy. <laughs> if it comes to that, I guess <laughs> I'll have to. I mean, what can you do? <laughs> I will see. I'm actually waiting to get a two-hander. It doesn't want to drop. I think the game doesn't want me to play the spec, you know? Oh, oh, you just won't get one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm speaking survival on the first boss. Uh, like, let drop. Hmm. But yeah. Thanks for having me. It was uh, great talking about hunters again. Yeah. And let's hope hunters are on the top next uh, next time again. Well, you know That's if it. they if they ever are, they get immediately nerfed. It always happens. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Spec too easy. It does four percent more damage. To nerf it. Blah. There's Moofsy sure. as well. <laughs> Moofsy is also on Twitch at Moofsy. You go check him out. Mostly tanking Mythic Plus right now though, not as a hunter. No, I do. I do a lot of uh, keys on my hunter, but it's there sort of know. like, well. I don't know. People don't really want hunters, except this week because we have the soothe. But mm. uh, I don't know. I don't really do high keys on my hunter because I only do it on like easy like push weeks for Mythic Plus. So like all the all the crap weeks, people just want to do like alt stuff because no one yeah. actually like cares about score or anything like that. So been uh, playing a lot of Demon Hunter lately. Might start my rogue again. Ooh. But uh, yeah, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Well, I appreciate your time on the show today, gentlemen, both of you, of course. Their links will be down below. Their armories will be as well, so you can judge their pet names or their transmogs. But again, Vengeance Demon Hunter, pre-BlizzCon show, then we'll be at BlizzCon, and then post-BlizzCon show, and then we'll be a healer, and then a whole bunch of other spec stuff. But again, we'll see how the holidays takes us. We'll see where 8.3 goes. We'll see where the... 9.0 beta testing starts because that's where my focus will be again to do all the spec testing but thank you very much for tuning in today to episode 199 and um hopefully titan forging dies in 8.3 ian don't 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 mess with this ian just nuke it from orbit thank you sincerely almost every player in the game that actually cares about luke being loot again well that's it for me Thank you very much for watching and uh, trusting your, I guess, holes in your gear before they... That data mine! Move C, did you see that data mine? Everything in the raid has a socket. It's not real. Thick. <sighs> oh, Wait, what? No, I saw something about, like, all, like, they have a random chance to proc benthic effects on gear or something like that. Which I really hope that's not true, because... <laughs> that's it, just as bad as socket. It's worse than socket. Excuse me? That's what I heard. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> just, just, yeah. All right. Uh, with that note, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Wait. 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 Bye. Nice <laughs> people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Moosey, wait. 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 What? Wave. What? 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 Wave. Oh, wave. Okay. Wave. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. oh, my. What the? Uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs>